Hello, this is Hector here. I'm uh, going to be showing you this Photoshop tutorial. This is my first and I hope you like it. This right here is what I'm going to be showing you how to make. It's, uh, it's not too difficult. It's a nice little template that you can use for loads of different stuff. Your own text, your own logos in the middle. Uh, so I thought I'd start with this one. Alright, let's get on with it. First we'll start off with a background. It's quite an easy background to do. It's just a uh, one color with a bit of shading so we'll go blending options color overlay I use a dark gray for the background and a uh, an inner shadow make sure the inner shadows opacity is a hundred distance is zero so that the shadow goes right around the edge and size as much as you like I'm gonna go for 80 uh, shift control shift n that'll bring up a new layer and get your elliptical tool, hold the shift key and drag it out that'll, that'll make a perfect circle there, get it in the middle this will be the outer rim for uh, for our little, I don't know what to call it, a I don't know, a button, a, I have no idea but it'll be the outer rim, right click and fill it, any colour, doesn't matter what colour it is control D will get rid of that select uh, now we'll, we'll do an in, inner stroke. Uh, it has to be quite big uh, to, to hold the text, uh, to make the text clear so we don't have to shrink it. And there's plenty of room for shadows and, uh, and 3D-ness. Give it a gradient. Make sure that light is on about 120, about there. Uh, that'll mean the light is coming down. And uh, make sure it's not black. I mean, you can choose your own colors, but uh, if you if you want this kind of me metallic look, uh, you're going to want kind of a white to a, a dark gray. Uh, also, a drop shadow will give it that 3D look. Opacity up, distance down, size up. Uh, there we go. Just so it gives it that uh, nice little 3D look around the edge there. Right, Control Shift N, new layer. And what we want to do is do exactly the same thing, but on this inner ring here. Uh, now you can hold control and click on this thumbnail here bring up a select option and then modify that contract I think it was was it 32 pixels and it'll uh, it'll come down but that is not uh, a perfect circle because you're modifying it by uh, 32 pixels and it's contracting and not expanding it's not very accurate so the best thing to do is trial and error. I mean, it's not too hard to get it about right. And then it's, you know, I mean, it's a little small. I can quickly expand it by about, what, two, two pixels. Right, perfect. It's on there straight away. Uh, same thing again, fill it. And uh, we'll do that. We'll do the stroking. Uh, give it a stroke uh, insides, but it doesn't. It doesn't have to be quite as uh, thick as the last one uh, because it, it's not going to have any text on it. It's just there for uh, just for that three D effect. Give it a uh, gradient, and this time have the angle as the exact opposite way. So that the dark is then contrasting and then the light is contrasting. It just makes it look really 3D. It's a nice effect. Really easy to pull off as well. I uh, have a dark grey up there. Yeah, so already you can see that uh, it kind of looks 3D. I, mean, I haven't done it perfectly. There's white on the outside. But if you take your time, it'll, it'll look really good. It'll come out really nicely. Uh, right, colour overlay. This is, So we're going to fill this middle bit now. Uh, I'll try to keep the same colours as the outside. Keep it nice and uh, well, keep the whole thing going together. You can use your own colours. Um, I would recommend using the same as the outside, but it's up to you. Uh, so we'll just put in this dark grey again and that uh, inner shadow. Distance zero, opacity up, size up. There we go. Right, the logo. Uh, we need so put in your own picture here. Uh, I'll put. I'm going to put up a uh, Photoshop version, so you can use you can use all the stuff that I'm doing now. 
I'll probably put up this little version here. Uh, so you can you can use my logo just to try things out, just kind of fiddle around, and then you can put in your own uh, just to see how it works. It's you probably won't find it hard. It's not it's not a very hard thing to do, but uh, yeah, you can you can put in text. You can make your own little logo like I've done. This is I've made this for for a team that I play on. Uh, we're called Army of Drunks. That's why it's A O D and a little stick man. Uh, gonna make it white to contrast with the background. It's in a shadow. You wanna wanna pass the up. And what you want, right, is the shadow to be really dense. So you wanna bring the size down uh, to about th two, two. Or, I'm gonna put it on two, two or three, uh, just so it's really visible. Because you really want it to look like a deep indent in the background. Uh, I'll just it'll just make it look more three D, more realistic. Obviously, if you wanna, there's loads of effects you can put on that background. I just chose a plain white with shadow. You can do loads of stuff. You can color in the different things. You can you can make it bevel and everything. It's up to you. It's what's great about this little design here. Um, right now for the shine. Again, you can do loads of different shine. I'm just gonna quickly uh, go through this this way of doing it. Um, it's just the way I've done it. I'll probably, if I ever do more videos, I'll do I'll do the different different styles. Going to need your gradient tool. Uh, it's, you're going to need white on the bottom of both. Seventy five, about seventy five, and zero. Make sure this one is white though, because it cut it starts off as black, and it's quite hard to notice that uh, that that's not going from white to white. Because that kind of looks, you know, it's not too different, but it will make a massive difference in the end, in the long run. Uh, if you're using it on all three shines, so there we go. That's one. Going to use the arrow just to kind of get it right where I want it. New layer. Going to use the pen tool for these side ones. Uh, kind of keep the same distance away from the side and. Just curve it like that. It's not hard. Um, make sure you hold before you do the next one. Hold Alt and click here, so you can do the next one like that. Otherwise, what happens is click on the next one, and this line just curves right down, and you don't want that. Doesn't look. It doesn't go where you want it, basically. So uh, hold Alt, click that. Uh, make your next point. Curve it nicely outwards. Hold Alt again, and finish it off. I'm doing this quickly, it doesn't look too bad, but uh, if you take your time it'll look a lot better. The same gradient again from outwards to inwards, make sure the shine is on the outside. And there we go, it's really quick, took about what 20 seconds. Control J, you don't even have to do the other one, Control J, edit, transform, horizontal. You can move it across, uh, use the arrow keys, just get it where you want. Done and dusted. So uh, yeah, so I've made this kind of the basics of it really quickly. The bit that takes quite a bit of time is the text on the outside. Um, it's it's just because you you it's curving. I mean, it's not hard just to make a text box and type. It's this whole curving business. Uh, but anyway, let's get through it. You need to uh, select this inner ring. So that's the second one you made. And uh, modify the select, expand it by about three or four pixels. I'm going to say three. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this into a path. So then when I do type in a text, it follows the path. Uh, what you can't do is just right click it and make path. Because the least tolerance you can do is 0 0.5. See? But Terra, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, if I started typing on this, do you see how the letters are all kind of pointing in different directions around here? Just doesn't work. So, uh, what you ha you have to do it manually. So same again. Stretch it out. Three. 
and what we're going to do is right click it and stroke it with a red line so it's really visible uh, get rid of these backgrounds to make it even easier to see now we're just going to follow it with the pen tool on a new layer just like that and follow it right around do this all the way around it'll take some time I'm going to do this really quickly not very accurately at all uh, and try, try and keep your spacings close together the closer they are the more accurate you can be I'm just quickly doing this if you do if you do miss like that and you're like ah uh, you can just move your arrow keys see? you can move it with the arrow keys it's not too hard or you can just uh, you can just undo it and uh, undo it and try again so that's that path done we can now hide that red line we'll bring up our back backgrounds again uh, and put on the text for this text you want to put it on the color you want make sure it's on the left first time I had it I was on the middle and I got really confused keep it on the left also put this to sharp uh, it stops it from getting pixelated I don't know why but text when you put it on the path go gets pixelated so keep it on sharp it'll uh, it'll make that better and font wise and size wise it's just a matter of trial and error really uh, I tried I mean I've got hundreds of uh, fonts and I tried so many before I found one that I want but it's worth it in the end uh, all capitals is also an idea because things like Y's and G's if they only come out capitals they're not going to go below this line and come on this one if you are going to do things like Y's and G's uh, when you're doing the path make it about five to six pixels instead of three to, or four just you leave enough space and it'll just follow this path right around uh, yeah and you can uh, then there's the effects you can either give it an inner shadow which I prefer it's my favorite one to do of about two and two for distance and size and it'll just look give it that indented look like it's got here uh, or you can give it a, a kind of emboss kind of look so it looks like it's on the metal uh, uh, then, yeah, then it'll just kind of look like it's part of the metal, which will be, it'll look quite good. But I haven't actually done that yet. Uh, I was just thinking then, maybe you might want to try a clipping mask over the top. If I have time, I'll do that in another video. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like it, tell me. If you don't, tell me. Uh, I'll do another one if you do, and if you don't, I'll just shut up. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Go to my photo bucket. I think it's photo bucket slash Hector. It'll be in the link. Thanks for watching. See ya.